put it track and field mainly because I developed the body of a 30 year old man at 12. Right. With all the body hair. Right. And I was just a muscular, tall girl very early. Like puberty hit me at 10. Yes. So yeah. this is pretty much what you were like. What then. I was like. Me too. Yeah. So I was really good at everything because I was just bigger than everyone. Yeah. Okay. So um, no, I did. I did everything though. I did represented netball, gymnastics, soccer, track and field, and basketball. Right. So I was in the state squad for netball, basketball, and track and field. Okay. So it was just ridiculous. I, I had a lot of energy and um, a lot of drive. My parents would, didn't push me at all. It was yeah. all me. Yeah. But track and field was my main kind of focus, and I specialised down at 12 and was in development squads from very early on. Yeah, I right. won my first nationals when I was 10 and um, qualified for world juniors when I was 16. In the hurdles. Right. But then tore both my hamstrings because I was illegally competing in an aerobics competition. Oh, so they said no My other coaches activity. all said no because when you, when you train, you get ready for a, a competition, your body is at its peak. Like right. It can, it's as fit as you're going to be. It can, you're like a racehorse, but it can also, your, your injury you can get it. Really yeah, easily. Definitely. Okay. So I was doing high kicks. Oh, my God. And I tore my hamstring in one high kick. And as I went down, I tore that and I was laying on the ground and the swelling started straight. I looked like I had two asses. Oh, no. I was so bad. And they raced out with the ice. But that pretty much ended Your... my hurdling career. Wow. Because after that, I got hamstring problems. Yeah. Like once you've got them. Yeah, you've got them. Done. It seems like that with knee and back injuries it too. Is. It's like yeah. once you get them, you're done. Yeah. And that was quite were you, how old were you when that happened? So I was about seventeen when the um the VIS, which is the Victorian Institute of Sport, said to me, You're done with track and field, why don't you try velodrome cycling? Right. So I'd never actually even been on a bike. And these bikes have no brakes and a fixed gear. Yeah, right. So they put me on the track and I said, I don't know what to do and they said pedal. So that was I did that for about a year, which I loved and I did pretty well at that. I got right. second in the Austral and um, one state champs, and then uh, I got pregnant. 